little YouTube. I was gonna say it's been a while, that's what I usually say, but it actually hasn't even been that long. It's been like a fairly long, but um, for me, pretty good, I'd say. Today I'm gonna be doing like, I don't know how I'm gonna title this video, just to clarify, because I think it's probably along lines of like, emo TikTok makeup, right? Because that's what I searched into like Pinterest and stuff to kind of get inspo, is like, the kind of goth emo makeup but specifically the TikTok genre. <laughs> I feel like a lot of the makeup I do does fall into that genre. It's like, I'm not kind of pale skin, heavy eye makeup, like smudgy, not perfect kind of vibe. I would put up people I reference, but there was no particular person that I used for inspiration on this because most of these looks are the same. So because it's like pale skin, right, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna use my usual foundation. I'm going to use one that's a bit lighter. Studio Fix Fluid um, by MAC and it is in NC10 and it's just a slightly lighter shade basically. Pretty good foundation. Uh, I use this when I'm like, I use this if I'm going to like heavy bronze and stuff because it's like, it's a good contrasty kind of foundation. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous doing this, um, this look because I feel like it could go so terribly wrong for me. <laughs> like I really, I don't know, like this makeup look I feel, like all the pictures I saw of it, no one is taken in bright light, everyone is in dark light, which leads me to believe <laughs> this may not look good on me in direct sunlight. So um, this might be a little catfish number, a little bit of clickbait because I might take the thumbnail in low light <laughs> so it looks like beautiful and amazing and then, you know. It doesn't. <laughs> My skin texture still hasn't, it's got a little better but I've been removing stuff from my skincare routine and it's actually seemed to be making my skin texture better which is interesting. God, I look unwell right now. I'm using the, this is a light concealer as well for me, 24 hour Studio Fix MAC 24 hour smooth wear concealer and this is an NC10 as well. Also, my lips are very crusty at the minute, so please no comments or I will cry. I think I just had like a bit of a cold, I think, and you know when you're um, a bit stuffed up, you start breathing with your mouth open. Yeah. Mouth breather type vibes, and then obviously your lips get super chapped, so. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna blend that all in. I'm just kind of speed running the base makeup because it's like the least important I feel. Like I feel like you could do this makeup with no base. Because I, I feel like a lot of the makeup looks they don't put any concealer under their eyes. But um, I'm hoping to take some Instagram pics so I am putting concealer under my eyes because people on Instagram don't like me anymore. <laughs> so uh, that's got nothing to do with the point I was about to make but yeah. Oh, just they don't like me anymore. Trying to please the people on Instagram is impossible. I much prefer YouTube, I have to say. Even TikTok. I guess Instagram's kind of dying though, right? Because they've like started to do all that stuff that's kind of... Um, they're trying to be TikTok, the reels and that. I've been trying to do reels and stuff, but like... I just prefer TikTok. Pretty much my base, but what I'm going to do... I'm gonna go back in with powder contour, but just for like a base, I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in Amber One, um, just to kind of do the, yeah, the base contour, because this is, I feel like, very contour heavy. So I'm just gonna do all the usual bits, just a little bit heavier, maybe. Don't really need to do my forehead, it'll be covered by my fringe, but. I kind of contour my jaw a little bit as well. Ever since I did that, if you watched it, the passport um, YouTube video, I've been contouring my jaw quite a lot. So it looks quite nice actually. I'm just gonna blend that all in. Also, <laughs> this isn't the video I was gonna film today. I ordered a like brown long wig on Amazon, like Prime, so it'll come today, but it's actually gonna come at like 10. But I'm gonna do another Love Island transformation. Oh. I don't know if you remember, if you've been a long time viewer, um, I did one years ago, it was the Molly May uh, season that I did it, um, but I thought it was really funny, I just saw it like not that long ago, I was like I need to do that again. Done. What I'm going to do before I powder my whole face is I'm just going to put a lot of fake freckles, take you in a little bit for this, um, just all over the... 
I feel like, as most TikTok makeup trends, fake freckles are a very big part of it. Also, what I'm debating is like, a lot of these looks don't, they don't wear blush at all because, you know, it's quite gothic, like, goths don't see the sun. So, I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm, I'm a big blush girl. Already just going to go in and powder my whole face with some loose powder. Just so I can really get into like the face chiseling and stuff. The fun part. Well, not the fun part because it's hard. It's hard with my facial structure because my nose is very wobbly um bumpy and lumpy so uh trying to contour it the bane of my existence really it is i was just talking about skin texture a couple minutes ago this is this is what i mean and i haven't had this before like really in my life not that i'm aware of or not that i obviously cared less if i did um so if you know what causes that kind of skin texture, let me know because it just kind of came out of nowhere and it, I'm just like, uh, why? I hope my Love Island wig comes earlier. I'm really excited to do Love Island transformation. I just love looking like a different person. <laughs> Probably some uh, deep psychiatric reason why, but we will not delve any further. Also, excuse my hair. I literally, I went to bed and woke up with this hair and I'm <laughs> not taken out yet. I think, what should, yeah, let's just get right into like, the sculpting and contour, the fun part. Okay, this might go um, wrong, but I'm going with nose contour first. Um, I'm going to take this eyeshadow shade. Oh, this might be a little bit too warm. Yeah, too warm. I'm trying to find like a ashy kind of nude that I would be, I might just have to use my contour. I just haven't really seen anyone with my kind of nose do it. That's why I'm struggling. Like this bump just, Okay, I'm taking this kind of tiny little flat kind of brush. I'm just going to take the Kaleidos Contour Palette and Cool and Light. And I'm going to take the middle and probably going to end up doing the dark shade to kind of make it harsh. But yeah, I'm just going to start with the classic. This bit. I feel like this bit is very important. <laughs> this is kind of how I would do my normal nose contour to begin with. But I'm trying to make this a lot harsher. I'm just dipping between the dark and the light shade, by the way. And then it's like the button nose that you need. So like this, and then up. Not too bad, is it? The thing is with this, it's like I don't really know because it's never like the nose contour is never that blended. But I'm like, so how far do I blend it? I feel like I uh, like make this bit darker, right? Or just like this a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if it looks good. Hmm. I'm just gonna kind of. Give it a little, mm, mm, mm. little. I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, actually, I can't. Can I? It's just a bit like. I think what I just need to do is just bring this up. That's a bit better, I think. <laughs> then another important thing is take some white. I'm just taking the KVD. Um, super br 24 hour super brow and white out and I use this for everything but my brows it seems um, but I usually use it from like my waterline but what you have to do is like a little white bit here I'm hungry Not too bad, I don't think that. I'll take it, I'll take it. Up close looks brutal. 
This camera is very high definition as well, so it probably doesn't look great for you. <laughs> Apologies, but I'm looking at a mirror that's quite far away, so I'm like, yeah, beautiful. Never seen anything quite like it, brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna go back and like contour seems to be a massive part, so I'm just gonna chisel my cheeks. I'm gonna avoid looking bronzed and I'm just trying to chisel. Guess the goal is like look a bit dead, right? Kinda trying to look like a vampire. It's not it's actually it's not that bad, is it? <laughs> Me trying to um persuade myself that. It appears the thing that everyone does, skinny, very dark eyebrows. Because I've got blonde hair, I think I might do like a dark liquid brown instead of black. I think everyone does like, they use uh, black liquid eyeliner. That might just look a bit too much on me. So I'm just going to put a little bit of brow, oh, a little bit of brow gel through my eyebrows. Oh. I'm taking the Hoz Laboratories Brown Liquid Eyeliner and I think it's whiskey, well, I think it's whiskey, it's all rubbed off. I'm just going to do straight brow, straight thin brow. I was like holding my breath there. I'm just adding a little bit, some hairs. I always remember years ago I went and got my, I was at like a milk makeup event in London. I never really go to events because I don't live in London. But um, I remember the makeup artist always telling me like, you do your eyebrows too far apart and you need to come closer and closer. That was stuck with me. Because I never thought anything was really wrong with them. So if you ever saw my eyebrows magically becoming closer and closer together, that was that makeup artist doing. I'm going to take my contour palette again. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush with nothing on it, hopefully. Yeah. Because um, if you couldn't tell, I don't clean my brushes very often. And what I'm going to do um, is just take it right under here. Almost given the appearance of like eye bugs, but not quite. Just like defined eye bugs, shall we say? Okay, that's kind of our base. I'm just gonna put a little bit down here as well, so it kind of matches. I'm gonna do it actually as well. I'm gonna go back with that fluffy brush and just kind of put some on the lid. I'm not gonna do a lot of eyeshadow because um, there's honestly not much point. Just because the eyelashes are so big, they're gonna cover up. If I'm gonna, like, there's no point in doing any nice eyeshadow, essentially, that's what I'm trying to say. For the hard part as well, eyeliner. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it slightly more downturned. It seems a lot of the eyeliner is downturned. I will be doing that. So I'm just gonna start. Now obviously if you haven't gathered, this has to be quite heavy eyeliner. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to leave it that just for now and I'm going to go back in with um, a black eyeshadow and a kind of flat fluffy brush and I'm just going to go right under. And just, like join that up to the ends essentially. And above a little bit. 
just to make it kind of blurry, smudgy. And I'm going to take it just up here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, the uh, eyelashes will cover it. But what I'm going to do now is go in and do a little inner corner. Also, what I'm going to add very quickly is some beauty marks. Just dot it around like that. Okay, so I'm going to put on mascara quickly. Some Charlotte Tilbury's push up lashes, pillow top mascara. Should, I used to, I think I used to do my makeup like this, you know. I think, you know what happens, you just, you get older and you stop caring. <laughs> like, um, I just, I think I just, I can't remember the last time I did like full on makeup anyway. I was, it's just not been the vibe, has it? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back in with the contour. Contour palette. Same brush as well, wherever I've dumped it. Oh yeah, this will do. And I'm just gonna... This seems to be a thing. <laughs> uh, like this um, blurry lip line. It feels awful. This is exactly what I don't need when I've got really chapped lips. Now I'm gonna, I'm just kind of freestyling the lips right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna take my trusty old Cool BFF lip liner and just add to it. Actually, let me just cut the lip short for a second. Glue these lashes. I'll do like uh, old and trusty. I'm taking the Into You Lip Super Matte Lips and Cheek Mud and Emo Seven. I'm just gonna take that here. I'll rub it in. Okay, this is this could work. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I've done this quite well, you know. I'm putting a pack on pack on the back. Pat on the back. Uh, I'm just gonna while my lashes are still kind of actually I'll put them on now. That is like my worst habit is not letting my eyelashes get tacky. Get over excited. Okay, let's see. Let's check. Sure. That doesn't look bad. Yeah, sure. These would make this look would probably work with small lashes as well. I think this is a pretty universal look. Um I've decided this is my new daily makeup routine, so I'm like reset like transcending back into like I would wear this makeup look when I was like 18, so Slowly but surely going back to that <laughs> contour. I'm going to take the Lid Light by Lime Crime and Airy. It's like kind of crushed, like mushy glitter. I don't know what the word is for it, but I'm just going to use this as highlight. So I'm going to go on the nose. Hands are a bit shaky. I think no blush for this. Look how pale and sickly I look. Just putting it on my inner corner as well. Like that. 
beautiful oh yeah a little bit here just put it in okay i found my new everyday routine also these eyebrows look better on me than my usual ones this you know was very eye-opening for me i have to say i'm glad i did this right i think what kind of hair should should i do with this i don't know it's kind of hard isn't it maybe i should just put it back in braids anyway I will be back with the finished full look. I'll put on a nice little outfit and yeah, do something with my hair. Not sure what yet. Okay, so the, I'd say this is the finished result. I just stuck my hair up in a ponytail because um, I just spent like 20 minutes trying to do it and nothing was working. But yeah, um, I just put on like a little kind of cami dress. I thought that would maybe be the best, but yeah. Um, this is the look guys, this is the look and it does look quite good in direct light I think I think this was a success <laughs> if I don't say so myself uh, I hope you enjoyed the video subscribe if you did, let me know what kind of other makeup you want to see um, expect a Love Island <laughs> video soon um, but yeah I'll see you around bye, goodbye